This is a typical apiary, small apiary for uh, beehives. So an apiary is just a collection of hives and in each hive uh, there is a colony of bees. So in this apiary we have different types of hive. Some of them are bubble walled hives but most of them are single walled hives and that's the one that we'll be looking at today. So this is a typical small apiary for hobby beekeepers. So we are going to go in and just see what this bee thing is all about. So this is the hive we're going to go into, hive number five. And this hive should have a queen, lots of workers and some drones, the male bees. So what we use to control the bees is a smoker. So we make sure our smoker is well lit and producing smoke and what the smoke does, it does two things it masks some of the alarm pheromones that the bees produce when we go into their colony and it also causes the bees perhaps to think it might be a forest fire and they want to load up with honey and when they're full of honey they'll be in a better mood and they won't to tend to want to sting us so much so what I do, I put a little bit of smoke into the front of the hive. This is the entrance of the hive here. And I just leave that for a few seconds so that the bees learn that we're actually here and for the smoke to have an effect. And now I take off the roof. So the roof is the weather protection for the hive. It stops the rain and the snow getting in at the top so this is the roof and we set it down here and then the next part we come to is the cover board and the cover board is the ceiling to the bees space so here we have the cover board and we see bees underneath it and we just put that down here and then we come to the first box is a honey box. We call them super just because they're superimposed on top of the chamber that contains the queen and all the young bees. So the super is where the beekeeper collects the honey. So we need our hive tool to do that and the hive tool has to have a very sharp edge so that it'll go in between the boxes to separate them and the boxes are held together with bee glue or propolis it's called which is a resin that the bees collect from the buds of trees and they make this very sticky substance called propolis which they use to glue the boxes together so we lift off the super and that one's quite heavy so there's quite a bit of honey in it and now we come to a grid called the Queen Excluder and the Queen Excluder is to stop the Queen from coming up and laying eggs all through her honey so it keeps her down in the bottom chamber which we call the brood box where the baby bees are being produced and now we're down into the brood chamber and this is where the baby bees are produced so there's in here there is a queen, maybe up to 40,000 sterile workers, females, sterile females, they're the worker bees, and a few hundred drones, they're the male bees. So I take out one frame just to give me some space. And we just make sure that the queen's not on there. So here's all the comb that the bees have drawn. And they've drawn that comb inside this frame that the beekeeper has put in. Now we have some brood. So you see all the nurse bees are covering this biscuit coloured cells. And that's where the baby bees are metamorphizing from larvae into adult bees. So all this biscuit-colored cells inside there, there is a baby bee 
developing. Only the queen can produce young. And that's all that she does. She doesn't look after the young. The young is looked after by all her sterile daughters. And here is the queen. And the beekeeper has marked the queen with a red dot so that we can find her. So there she is there. And you can see that the queen is quite a bit longer than the normal worker bees and she's marked with a red dot so that we can find them. The dots are coloured according to the year so a red dot means she's a last year's queen. If she was a this year's queen we would mark her with a green dot. Okay so the beekeeper closes up the hive and it puts in the frame that he took out to give him some clearance to work and then he puts on the queen excluder to keep the queen down in the brood box and then he can put back on the honey super and we can perhaps just have a quick look to see the honey they are producing so here's a frame of honey and here's some wet honey that they're still bringing in, wet nectar, they're processing into honey. And then this area is all the area where they've sealed it. So if I just break the wax cappings on there, we'll see that in there is honey. And that's their store of food to bring them through the winter. Because that is the trick that the honey bee has. It can store a big store of food to produce warmth so that they can take a big population through winter. That's in contrast to other bees like bumblebees and wasps for example where only the young queen comes through the winter so she has to start the colony all on her own. And that takes her a long time to build up a nest of even a few hundred bees. Put on their ceiling, cover board and we can put back on the roof. That's the honeybees.